In this third segment, we go one on one with Hosan and ask, how tough is it to make people laugh? Hey guys, you're watching Razor TV, and once again, I'm with Hosan. He has a show that's coming up that's first to the 11th of October. Tickets start from fifteen dollars, very cheap. It's called the Hosan Young Show, and Hello. it's in a talk show format. Yes. Now you've been doing stand-up comedy for. A while now. It's been more than ten years. Yeah, about there, about ten years. Yeah, I, I've done about six or seven stand-up comedy uh, shows in theatre already, and I, yeah, I even lost count. My gosh. Yeah, and 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 it's kind of evolved from just doing normal stand-up to um, stand-up with characters, and right now it's stand-up with. You know, a, a cast of characters based on a talk show format. Okay, isn't it scary to stand on stage and like reveal so much of yourself? <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, it depends. I, so I try to go to the gym, so if I ever have to reveal more of myself, people will go, "Wow!" It's the ah, you know, like look me, I like I like my bikini. Yeah, Do you so, go to the gym? Uh, no, I well, I should really, because I just you know. But turn... you look so young. You must no, work out. I... What do you mean? You look young and you work out different, you know. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it's like, well, I'm look, I'm lifting weights. Um, no, I I I, I try to walk. Ah. <laughs> I, I don't even really? say I want to run. I walk, um, so that I can lose this. Uh, Punch that I'm sucking in very much right now, but uh, I try and keep, yeah keep fit lah. Cause turn forty, really no must be careful. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Why do you think there's so few stand-up comedians in Singapore? Is it like that hard? Yeah, it is very very hard. Okay. But like I you know I you know, hats off to you know to Kuma to Selena uh, to Sebastian all those people who who tried doing stuff on stage and 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 and, and, uh, doing, and doing well. I'm really really hoping to see a whole brand new batch of, of stand-up comedians to come and take over so I can retire. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to do that. Right? Uh, yes, I do. <laughs> really? No, I mean I really enjoy making people laugh and I really enjoy being on stage. But there comes a time where where you kind of go. I want to slow down a bit. I want to you know grow crops and. And yep. irrigate my farm, and and and, and you, you plow the land. And yeah, just better use of my tongue, you know. That that tongue thing keeps coming out. I I don't know what you do with it, but you must be good. Have you seen me eat ice cream? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, you've been doing comedy for a long time now. How has the Singaporean audience evolved? Do you think? I think in the past they seem to like laugh at. Bit mm. jokes, but have yeah. they become more sophisticated? Now? They have actually. The Singapore audience. When I first started out, it was a bit. Uh, it was very. Uh, well, it's still the same. I still do a lot of Singapore. What's happening around Singapore yeah. and Singaporeans? Um, I'm trying to make my my comedy a bit more universal now, so mm-hmm. I can I can perhaps reach out to you know people who are foreigners or, or even try and take my brand of humor abroad. You know, that's probably my next goal, my next step. Um, but Singaporeans themselves have really evolved. They're willing to laugh more about you know at, at them at themselves and laugh with me. And instead of last time they used to go, oh, he said that. Ah, then they go. Oh, yeah. Now it's like ah, ha, ha, you say it, man. You know. So it's 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 um. And, and, and my audience has grown and I'm very, very happy that I can make people laugh from, from 15 all the way to 75, you know? Um, yeah, so it, it's... I think humour is something that if you're willing to laugh at yourself, you know, and don't take yourself too seriously, I think people can laugh with you. Okay, so who or what are you going to take pot shots at this time? Just a teaser? Well, One you know... Things are happening in Singapore all the time. The, the most like booms, like like booms, <laughs> and most recently, of course, you know the whole big thing about um, uh, a certain blue chip who you know left a certain big oh. company, okay. um, and suddenly you know the yeah the money kept rolling out and never kept never came back really? in. So wow. we'll take a few. You know we'll talk about that and breastfeeding. I can't wait. Thank you so much. <laughs> Jose and Leung show people on the 1st to 11th of October at Drama Center. Pass the bike, quick! Catch the last segment where we go one-on-one with blogger Mr. Miyagi, who is writing the script for the Jose and Leung show. We also meet his wife and son, 